A milestone has been reached in Brighton and Hove City Council's ambitious plans to preserve the city's historic seafront and to prevent the coast road here from eventually collapsing. Engineers working on the prom have now finished a massively complex operation to reinforce the ground and the buildings here. That clears the way for the next phase of the scheme and a key purpose of the operation to start actually rebuilding the Victorian Shelter Hall. The aim is to create modern business premises which can earn money for future upkeep. There'll also be new public toilets. But it's been no easy task and more complex than could have been envisaged. It'll be a familiar tale to anyone who's ever started work on an old building and found things beneath the surface worse than they'd hoped. Here, both the ground and the former fishermen's arches were much more unstable than anticipated. At one stage, a sinkhole opened up in the chalk, requiring six cement mixers full of concrete to fill. The whole operation has meant a complex and far-reaching engineering solution to reinforce and stabilise the ground and the arches. Before that could even start, a substantial and elaborate system of propping was installed to keep everything in place. Only once everything was held firm could contractors start installing permanent strengthening. Key to this was a huge concrete wall sunk into the ground to stop the hidden chalk cliffs beneath the road collapsing towards the sea. The scale is quite hard to grasp. The wall was made by sinking a row of 24 concrete piles close together. Each one is nearly a metre thick and goes almost 20 metres into the ground. That's as deep as three of these steel reinforcing cages end to end. This is what the site would look like with the shelter hall removed and how the piling supports the upper prom. This image shows the complexity of the piling operation for the whole project with the concrete piles looking like a mass of underground legs supporting the building. I think when it's finished it'll be massively worthwhile. Uh, we'll have a much improved uh, shelter hall structure that'll be far more efficient than the previous shelter hall, it'll be able to uh, accommodate businesses, um, it'll be quite an important asset for the city and, and for the seafront. It'll generate income that will be able to support its future upkeep and maintenance which I think is really important. We'll also have uh, completed uh, the reinforcement to the, the footway and, and, and the carriageway so we'll have done our job in terms of being a highway authority and, and, and maintaining the highway so the highway and the structure will be there for the next 120 years. All good. <laughs>